Financial jealousy between a couple of strippers ended in jail time for one of them, along with her boyfriend. Andy, I would assume, as a former strip club DJ, was there a lot of stripper on stripper fights? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, like, that's was, a very common in the stripper industry. the industries. number one fight. It that's was the number one fight. Really brutal. Like, you'd always hear, like, like, you'd see, you'd see a couple of them running out of the dressing room to tell everybody about the fight that's going on. And those, those chicks, they don't fight like, like, they're like, I'm going to rip your eye out of your face. Yeah. And I'm going <laughs> to ruin They have to your, damage, they damage your stripper career. You, there will be blood. Uh, <laughs> you know? So it's, uh, yeah, it is, but it, it always happened. Okay, what mainly are the strippers fighting about? Uh, sometimes it's different stuff. Like uh, sometimes they'd get mad about like the DJ playing one of their songs for another girl, or they um, there might be money missing from their bag they left unattended for a minute, mm. or you can't you can't uh, really know the true origins. <laughs> you can't nail it down. Like, you can't nail it down. Yeah. Many different reasons. Yeah, there's I a lot. You. If you ever saw a stripper fight, uh, feel free to chime in. 1-855-954-6969. 1-855-954-6969. This one I'm talking about did all happen because of cash. So at the Honey Pot Gentlemen's Club in the UK, yes, Mihaela Sarsiman found a way to charm one old wealthy dude out of 11 grand. That's how to do it. Her fellow stripper. Yeah. Gemma Lyons was pissed. Of course. She saw this guy handing her all sorts of cash. Jealousy. So as this is happening, she's on the phone with her boyfriend, Nicholas, saying, she's getting so much cash. We got to kill her. So uh, they grabbed her and assaulted her on the way to the subway after work. There's a little bit of it caught on surveillance video here. So there's the stripper. I assume that's the boyfriend tackling her to the ground. Uh, She is going to get two years in prison, the boyfriend getting five years in prison. Do you think your job as a boyfriend of a stripper is to constantly, like, put the kibosh on diabolical plots? Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of it. I bet there is. I bet every night a lot there's, of like, a plot, like, a plot. Oh, so, like, yeah. the girl comes home like that bitch. Right. Chastity. Yeah. Rob, we got to get her. Anonymous is with us. Hi, Anonymous. How are you? Hi, doing well. How are you? Doing okay. You were a stripper. Were you ever involved in any stripper fights? So I actually had a um, a person come in. I was on stage, and they threw a quarter at me. And then so I took the quarter, threw it right back at him, threw his popcorn at him, then threw his champagne on him. And I just walked off stage, and that just started kind of like a whole overall brawl. I had, like, my stripper friends trying to you know, defend me and, like, go after them. And then they were like, we're going to call the cops. And I was like, well, you know, you could have hurt me with that quarter. So they didn't, they just throw them out. But it's more, it's like an insulting thing, right? Like he was trying to, you know, say you weren't great, I guess, right? By throwing a a quarter on the stage. Yeah, but also it's just like, that's just super dangerous, you know? Like you're in six inch heels. Yeah. You step on that, you're going to go flying. Yeah, Dave. I don't know if she ever looked at it that way, but uh, you really, you really drove that home. Like, yeah, uh, I think what he was trying to say to you is that you're cheap. You only worth a quarter. You, you're barely worth this quarter. I flip that. No, at but you. I thought that's what why guys did that. They were like, oh, she sucks. Like, uh, here's you're not even worth a dollar. Know, but whatever, right? you, whatever you have to believe. Being a Canadian stripper then must be like a minefield, because the one dollar and two dollar bills are just coins in Canada. Um, generally in Canada, people put the coins in their mouths. And the stripper takes it out yeah. removes with it. her mouth? Let's or get creative. Things, yeah. uh, hi, good morning. How are you? Hey, um, just a couple years ago, uh, one of those uh, strip clubs on 8 Mile. Um, it, it was probably during shift change or something. They were both in street clothes. They were tight little jeans and everything. It was a blonde versus brunette. Uh, they were going at it, uh, kicking each other between the legs. The bouncer tried to intervene. Uh, one of the, uh, strippers, uh, boyfriends knocked the bouncer out. I don't know how he did it. He was like half the size of the bouncer. Lucky shot. And, uh, yeah, it was insane. And, uh, (laughs) while, while the, uh, yeah, the strippers were still kicking each other between the legs and everything, the brunette dropped. I guess the blonde got a good shot in, you know. Yeah, it was right. Just, in the... it, it was it was insane. Wow, yeah, like kick, a... yeah, strippers will kick each other right in the badge. Kick the button. 
Yep. It kicked oh her right God. in the button. Kicked she went down. Button, button kicked. kicks. <laughs> if you're a girl and someone kicked you between the legs and you dr- just dropped, yeah. it had to be a button. I mean, he knocked out that bouncer, too, with, like, a Dragon Ball punch. (laughs) (laughs) Pure luck. Someone said, uh, here to answer your uh, Canadian question, Canadian strippers will roll up their posters, put it on their vag, and the boys toss loonies and toonies into them. (laughs) So it is like a carnival game. The leading most authority on uh, strip clubs here. I can't admit. Canada throws me so many curveballs. Canada's wild, dude. You throw it in a, you make like like a You make like a funnel, like a, and then they made a game out of it. And it's like that bowling you guys talk Toss about. Toss the toonies to the tramp, eh? <laughs> the loonies and toonies. Another thing they do in Canadian clubs, it's called the Canadian money shot. So the stripper lays down and the boys... Toss their loonies and toonies on her to see if they can cover her with <laughs> coins. Like, she gets <laughs> loonies and toonies, go with something else. <laughs> loonies and toonies, that's what they are. The loonies and dollars, toonies, two dollars. <laughs> so. Don't sit on this side of the stage and throw loonies and toonies. <laughs> It's like from a cartoon. <laughs> so they're flipping it up and trying to get it to stick on her body. Oh right. So God. she lays there and her, she wants to be covered. She's being showered right. by hard it's objects. It's her money shot. <laughs> they turned it into game shows up there. <laughs> they had to do something. Price Andy. is right games. Hey, money shot. Hey, are you ready? <laughs> get ready. It's get like your a... loonies and toonies out. Hey, here we go. Loonies and toonies. Like arcade. It's like an arcade or something. Like it's half an arcade. An adult, adult arcade. I just think about if, oh, I, if I flicked if I flicked up a, a heavy coin and it... Went in the air and then came down on your head. It would hurt. It would like she definitely goes through some pain during the Looney Tunes. That's why I said get some different kind of money. You gotta go paper. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Carnival games. Up but there. they know guys don't. They know I guys know. have ones and twos on it's them. It's really sad that a stripper's like, you know what I have to do tonight? I'm gonna have to do the Canadian money shot. <laughs> Because there's not enough guys here that are going to just go paper up for me. <laughs> this guy's like they all have to sit, lay down there and just be pelted by coins. It's exactly what happened to what, when I went to a Canadian strip club. And we even walked away with signed cal- calendars, posters, and magnets. It was super nice of them. Yeah. Uh, signed magnets? Sign yeah. magnets. Yeah. Even, strippers, magnets. even strippers have... The same kind of stuff James has. <laughs> it's true. Calendars, posters. I have all those same things. Yep, magnets. <sighs> yep. And then one more text here, and this guy said, uh, you guys are joking about strip clubs in Canada, but it's no joke. They do that. They uh, did a game of Looney Bounce. The stripper <laughs> the stripper puts a toonie. <laughs> Hold on, let me hear The stripper puts a toonie in her no-go zone, and guys would line up to knock it off by bouncing their loony off the stage. <laughs> it's like the winner gets a lap dance. Like a perverted tiddlywinks or something. <laughs> it's like pong. <laughs> or pog. <laughs> So win-win, right? <laughs> she makes a ton of cash because yeah. it's like one of the hardest carnival games. And the Looney Tunes bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being the best in the world at that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I knock it off every time. Like He's a the champion. Guys, there are those guys that win all the carnival games. Sure. Yeah. You get all the lap dances. <laughs>